There was something attached to the instructions, something about hair and makeup that needed to be done before the continuing celebration tonight, I don't know. Brian and Nicole have arranged today as a special bookend where we will witness their love for each other through two formal ceremonies. This gives us a chance to pause and breathe. breathe. To slowly <laughs> soak in the joy before us. Nicole and Brian, we know their story. High school sweethearts and sophomores in Bellarmine, nine plus years together, co-valedictorians at graduation, able to keep the love of their friendship growing even while at opposite coasts to attend their different universities. Two people who have much in common. They enjoy competition, reading, thinking, imagining, playing games, friends, Alfie. <laughs> Thinking through challenges, family, music, movies, and more. They are very detailed and intentional. Have you seen their schedule to the minute these, for these three days? <laughs> we know that the unexpected will also happen in their lives, and that's also why we're here. We are gathered here as family and friends to support you in your journey of love, Brian and Nicole. Your love is a love that isn't centered on the self, but is centered on the other. John says in our first reading, let us love one another because love is from God. How is love from God different from other forms of love? Love from God is unconditional and without limits. Love from God is accepting of all, forgiving of all. Love from God offers one's life for others. Love from God blesses us with meaning, where we accept life as miracles to be cherished, like your commitment to each other today. Nicole and Brian, you have been in love with each other for nine long years, and we are blessed to see you, to see your love continue to grow for each other. Your love and the vows of love and fidelity you pledge to each other today are signs of God's love as lived through Jesus' love and commitment for all of God's people and creation. Nicole, you said, you chose the first reading because of John's words, God is love. And you said that's what we should strive for. Jesus' life of love and sacrifice is the mirror for our lives. John ends his letter with, No one has ever seen God. If we, if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is perfected in us. Jesus loved others through his kind and forgiving words, parables, and miracles. Jesus also loved through his challenges to create a more fair and loving society, especially toward those who were treated as outcasts. Or ignored. Brian, you said you, you like the readings you chose, you both chose, because they show love as inclusive and equal, that your love together is a representation of God's love. In John's Gospel, Jesus prays, as you, Father, are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one. Nicole and Brian, we don't want to add pressure to your day or pressure to your lives, but we see your love and devotion for each other as glimpses of God's glory, signs of God's intimate and loving relationship with God's Son, Jesus, a love so giving that he gave his entire life for us. We as family and friends, watch your loving commitment to each other in awe today. We will continue to support you in any way we can. We thank you for the blessing you are in our lives and for sharing your love with us in this beautiful way.